Hey folks, it's Chris Crazy House here, and I feel that we should do this more often, especially myself, because there are so many talented black men and black women out there who are artists, and I don't think they get the recognition that they truly, truly deserve, and I always get people asking me, like, what type of books or comic books or animation or whatever can we see out there with our faces on it, and that's done by us for us. And, you know, I want to start doing that more often, just bringing it out there and just showing you guys, whether it be in just a blog form. And I, I really want to do a formal artist showcase series, not just on this channel, but on my other YouTube channel as well, just to give these artists out there the credit that they truly deserve and just bring some more attention to them. Because, you know, so many of my fans are always looking for other things or... They don't, some people don't even know that I'm an artist myself, but really I wanted to put the spotlight on a very talented artist that I'm a fan of, and not just a fan, but a good friend of as well, because this brother D.S. Williams, he and I went to school together, we both attended the Art Institute at around the same time, but he actually dropped out maybe after the first year or so and kind of went back home, but he did have return to South Florida right at the time I was graduating from the Art Institute. And he and I lived together with our good buddy Casey for about three years. We all lived in the same apartment. And, you know, just to say this, to get it out of the way, God bless the dead to Casey because he did pass away back in 2006 after we had, you know, we had kind of went all went our separate ways. But just wanted to show respect to him. But... D.S. Williams is someone that I went to school with, really good-hearted really good -hearted guy. I can always say that he always had a very good heart. And what's funny is, like, we knew each other for a while before I even realized that he and I share his birthday is maybe a few days after mine. And I didn't realize we had so much in common until we started living together. As far as, like, our taste in animation and our taste in music. And... Just our love for art, but I really wanted to draw attention to this brother because I, I just always admired his art style, and he does stuff in just pure pencil, and the art style and the way it looks just leaps off the page. Like, I know a lot of people, or at least a lot of young black kids, they worship at the altar of a lot of these different manga artists, but there are some black men and women who are just extremely talented with just a pencil. And D.S. Williams is one of those people, and I, I'm i always been in awe of his artwork, just the detail, and I've seen him do it, you know, I've just been like kind of looking over his shoulder while he's drawing, or, you know, we all didn't have fancy equipment back then, he just kind of like either sit on the floor or just have his little drawing board with him and kind of draw out these books, and it was just amazing to see, and his comic book series. It's a web series now called Kane Courageous, and I will post a link. You can go read it online right now. It's free to read. So I, and I definitely recommend people checking it out. But just look at some of the artwork here that I kind of saved just to show you guys. It's, like I said, this is just pencil. And it's amazing. I'm kind of glad that he stuck with it that way because <coughs> years ago, uh, I tried to help him. Like I, I flirted with the idea of doing inks for his artwork, but in my opinion, my inks did not do it justice. And I don't think any artist who's an inker, unless you're like high up on the totem pole, like maybe Dexter Vines or something like that, there really isn't anyone I think that could ink his work and do it true justice. So I'm kind of glad that he kind of left it or leaves it in this pencil style. And I think it looks amazing just with the pencils by itself. And I know his main character, Kane, is semi-based on his real life, uh, D.S. Williams' real life growing up in Buffalo. Of course, he's embellished it by, you know, having that whole underground fight circuit thing going on. I, I know, <laughs> at least as far as I know, I know D. wasn't fighting in any underground fight circuits, as far as I know, anyway. Uh, if he sees this, he'll know I'm, I'm messing with him, but... Uh, but, yeah, just, just on a personal level, I've, I've always felt he was a real good, kind-hearted person. And he he's one of those people that his laugh will make you laugh. Like, he has a very infectious laugh. And we used to always just want, want him around just so we can, just to hear him laugh, you know. 
those years that he wasn't with us at the Art Institute, we all we always talked about him and missed him. Uh, you know, I don't know if you realize just how much we enjoyed his company and always has enjoyed his company. But uh, but yeah, and for those who want to know, yes, he's a a black man and he's married to a black woman, has two very beautiful black daughters. Uh, I just really enjoyed seeing the picture of him and his family. They took some really nice family photos. I'm not going to post those, but if you do become his friend on social media, you will see them. Just a beautiful, beautiful family. And from what I, just from what I know, like I knew when he, I remember when he met his wife, because he met his wife way before I met mine, and they were just friends first. So yes, you can meet a woman and have a friendship with them and it develop into something else later on. Because I remember like one of our other friends called me and told me that she had moved up to Buffalo where where D was. And I was like, uh-huh. You know, that's that's more than just a regular friendship, you know what I mean, when they you someone just moves to a whole different state for you. And I you know, I, I'm just so proud of him and I'm glad that those two hit it off and that they're together now and they have such a beautiful family. It's, it's an amazing thing to see. And I do believe D makes his money uh, his main source of income, I believe he's actually a, uh, an instructor and a, an art teacher. And it's very appropriate because as an artist, he's just very talented. But he still does his own thing on the side. And just to say that, just to show this comic strip, King Courageous, I know you guys will enjoy looking at it. Especially if you're a manga fan or a, a fan of anime. This is manga and anime from, on the black side. And I want to say that he does it very well. And to the point where, like I said, I'm... He's one of those people that I'm in awe of. I've always been very much inspired by him and in, and in awe of his talent. And I know you guys will enjoy it as well. I'm trying to think of something. There's something else I wanted to say as well about uh, his work. Oh, yeah, that he's not just, uh, he doesn't just do pencils and, and painting or whatever. He does, he's a very talented sculptor as well. I don't know if he still does any sculpting. But I remember when we used to live together, he used to do these just amazing sculpts sculptures of of mecca of giant mechs and stuff like that like his own ideas too like he, he would create these mecca characters and these giant robots and he, then he would sculpt them and i remember him like you know firing them up in our oven and stuff like that so like i said dude is just a real talented artist and and like i said one of the nicest people you could ever meet in the world and I, i'm all i'm so happy that he's kind of got his life where it's more about him and his immediate family because it like 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 most of us who are who are artists or who have a, I would say a lot of black guys who have a different uh, point of view as far as like growing up in a, a hood type situation. Sometimes our our family that we were born to can be very draining on us. In other ways, you know what I mean. So, I'm kind of glad he's gotten away from that. And while I'm sure he still, obviously still has love for his actual family, he has a. Uh, an immediate family of his own that he can raise and take care of and that he's the the patriarch of and I just want I just want to say that you know I, I'm I always have a big smile on my face when I see his artwork or when I just see a picture of him and his family I'm so glad that he's turned out and everything's working out for him you know what I mean so I just want to showcase his artwork and show you guys what it looks like and I, I know you guys are will be fans of it immediately and when you ask me about some of the artists that you can go check out this is one of the guys and I, that I want to point you towards as far as like people you can go see. Now, I don't believe, I'm not sure if he has any art for sale. Like I said, his main source of income is, off, is he's an instructor, so he's not really hurting for money. But if he ever did come out with a trade collected, collected version of King Courageous, I'd be the first one to buy it. I'll tell you that right now. If he has any type of t-shirts or whatever, I'll be the first to buy it. So I'm going to post a link so you guys can go check out his artwork on the different... He's on Facebook, but he also has his own web page, and he also showcases his book on different web comic sites. So you can go check out uh, his work, D.S. Williams' work there. And I, he has a YouTube channel as well that I'll post a link to, where he does these amazing sketches, and you know, in real time, just showing the, the sketches of different. Uh, he does fan art, he does other types of art too, but just to show you guys how talented this brother is. So. Once again, go check out D.S. Williams' work. Kane Courageous is his main comic. He just posted some previews on Instagram of some of the new artwork that he's working on. So, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all that stuff and just show you that 
there are people out there, other black artists out there doing great things, and this is one of them. I'm going to be doing more videos like this because I really want to showcase the work and the talent of brothers out there and, and sisters. There's some women I'm going to showcase as well that do extremely good work, and we should be paying more attention to them instead of worrying about what type of content Hollywood is putting out there. So anyway, Chris Crazy House signing out, and like I said, you can get all the links to D.S. Williams' work in the description box of this video. Anyway, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.